Hello everyone, we're on day 4 of my series on healthy in conversation skills. We've learned so far that in our conversations, it's useful to keep a clear open mind, to listen actively, to pause, acknowledge and respond when it's our turn to talk. However, often in long conversations, the ones that specially involve deliberation and clarification, we can feel sometimes emotional and attacked. These are the times that we can tend to return to our autopilot mode of reacting. Today, I'm sharing with you a way to overcome our reactions during arguments and miscommunications. Remember, reactions are immediate and are usually fueled by our limiting, sometimes irrational and illogical beliefs. These beliefs are very real to us and are yet proving to be counterproductive today. So here's tip number four. Stick and return to data, fact and reality. We usually have a personal, a unique interpretation of who we are, how others are and how the world works within us. And we usually tend to perceive things around us, situations around us from this personal interpretation rather than perceiving the reality as it exists. So in conversations, it's usual for us to drift into assumptions and conclusions and interpretations that are based on our beliefs and not necessarily on the data, reality or fact. For example, a person may tell you, I'm sure she does not like me. This is when you invite the person to consider a reality. Okay, so has she explicitly used your name and told you that she does not like you? Such conversations would help us consider the fact and not assume. Remember you're saying this after a pause and it's better done when we ourselves are genuinely interested in considering the fact. Now there's quite a possibility in the situation that I shared right now that the person could say, I know she does not like me. Her behavior shows it. And there could possibly be an element of truth in that. However, her behavior can be interpreted in several ways. Perhaps she was too busy to be mindful of her behavior or she was caught up in a bad time or she genuinely dislikes the person in question. Unless we clarify with her, we may never know for sure what was her story. So what do we know for sure? Fact, data and reality as it is and not as we see them. As for me, it helps me stay rational, objective and grounded. I prefer the risk of clarifying rather than assuming. And when done from gently, from the stance of genuine curiosity, it always lands well. Word of caution, let the sticking to fact and reality not become yet another autopilot mode in us. Be aware of what's happening to you in the moment as far as possible. Stay tuned to tip number five of a healthy in conversation skill coming up tomorrow. Till then, Practice perceiving reality as it is and take care.